So, as you can see, doing something a little bit different today. So I'm not in the lush, green, verdant pastures of uh, Northumberland. Instead, I'm on Berwick Industrial Estate. And behind me, you can see the mighty grey silos of Simpsons Malt, the finest malt in the north of England. Before I start, let's just have a listen to this. Now, isn't that absolutely beautiful? Okay, so this is just an introductory video just explaining about the series of videos that I'm gonna be doing about the Motoguzzi V7 Mark II Stornello. So this is based on suggestions that I received from a number of people who watch the channel who um, responded to a post that I put up just saying, what should I do about this bike? Should I do a normal video? Because it seemed a bit pointless because it's like over 10 years old and it's a bit of a clunker. It's a great clunker, but it's a bit of a clunker. Anyway, got some great suggestions. So I'm gonna do five five minute videos one of the reasons for doing it that way is that usually it takes me about six to seven months to film and edit a video 20 minute video by which time i've got really bored um, and it'll be winter and i'll just be drinking and hibernating and getting depressed and you know listening to leonard cohen and stuff so if i do shorter videos i'll be able to get them out a lot more frequently so those five videos are going to be first of all well the first one will be a subjective video why did i buy this particular bike and what does it mean to me Number two will be objective, so you know the riding experience. What's it like riding a 10 year old bike? What do you have to think about, and how does it compare to modern bikes? And is it good enough on the road given everything else that's going on? Number three will also be objective, and this one will be probably more of a normal review. So I'll be talking about specs and stuff, but I'll also be doing a comparison to the other Moto Guzzi V7s that I've owned over the last few years. And one thing to point out about this one so this is the last Moto Guzzi V7 model that had heron heads so the heron head the heron cylinder head is basically it's a flat cylinder head and the combustion chamber is actually built into the top of the piston crowns like it sounds as though i know what i'm talking about there but i don't really to be honest so that will be number three number four will be no talking and it'll be something a little bit different so it'll be a audio and sensory asmr video or is it amsr can never remember anyway so that's just going to be purely visuals purely sound about what it is that's so good about riding this bike but also perhaps all motorbikes and then number five will be not sure if i'm going to do this one yet but this one will be about my motivation and feelings about getting back on the motorbike after my accident so a few folks suggested this now the reason why i'm a little bit reticent about doing that one is that i was thinking about it a couple of weeks ago and yes it was front of mind and up to now i've never had any feelings of ptsd or or kind of flashbacks or anything but i've been thinking about it and i was at a junction on the motor gutsy and i had this overwhelming sensation that something was going to slam into me so instead of turning right i turned left instead so and i don't want to really repeat that feeling so i'm not sure whether i'm going to do that final video about why on earth have i got back on a motorbike again and putting myself at risk however numbers one to four are definitely going to happen and even better video number one will be out in the next two weeks so how good is that but i will just finish off though with one of the unique selling points of the motor gutsy v7 now if you're a big cricket fan and you like test match special just check this out So basically, you can play the Test Match special theme on the Moto Guzzi's aluminium mudguard. So, how good is that? So, there we go. What can I say? No other motorcycle can you play the Test Match special theme on its front mudguard. God, bloody knuckles are killing. Right, that's it. See you later. All oh, right, brilliant. Thank oh, you very good. much. You're Cheers. Very I'm welcome. Phil anyway. Phil on Mark. All right. I work on the way, bridge. All right. Cheers, Mark. Crack on. Thank you very much. <laughs>